Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing great. So welcome to Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel. Today I'm here to talk about ECE stream of engineering, okay? Means what all you need to know to make a decision to choose this particular stream. Again, this is a very high in demand stream, okay? Uh, as you know, it's called as electronics and communication stream, okay? So if you're somebody who is about to choose a college, you know, go for a counseling process and start, you know, this journey of this one and one and a half month to choose the right stream, to choose the right college for themselves based upon the rank in the different examinations of engineering, okay? So uh, this video will be very, very helpful for you if you are choosing it. If this, uh, after this video, you get to know uh, why to choose this stream, okay? What are the outputs of this means? What are the job opportunities? What are the job profiles means? What type of engineers you going to be okay what are companies hired uh, 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 from this particular stream so you'll see all of that and at the end you'll also see some major colleges cutoffs as well means what colleges will give you at what cutoffs in different examination for EC stream so I know your time is very valuable let's start the session right away so uh, starting from what let's define the stream itself first okay the first thing is to be defining the stream itself what is that electronics and communication engineering okay, what is it so ec is a branch of engineering that focuses on the study of electronics devices and communication systems as the name suggests the electronic devices for example you can talk about your smartphones your you know uh, your smart watches okay now you have smart rings as well right i think i don't know what do you, what do you call this guys but yeah the different uh, devices for example it can be used in defense okay it can be used in uh, healthcare industry various industry are there where we use electronics items okay and of course communication system is also a major part to uh, that in the modern science world okay uh, so there are a lot of problems in both the types and that's being an engineer you're gonna solve those problems okay so it combines elements of all of it electrical engineering some part of cs yes you have to do some programming from some coding as well okay it will not be as uh, you know as uh, you, you you do in the case of cs uh, branch so it'll be something like that will be there so you'll have application of all these application of electrical application of cs and communication systems club together to make a useful product or useful you know a device which will give you some functionality okay so you can see there are a lot of devices around us right uh, like in the health industry we have you know like uh, we have uh, let like somebody is uh, uh, have let's say in the or something like that they lose a hand or something like that then we have robotics helps us to uh, give them a prosthetic arm okay so like that the different kind of things are there. simple uh, sim the simplest device ever not simplest actually where you use it most of the time is a smartphone okay it's a product of a very enhanced very you know high level of ECE engineering okay so again if you move ahead with this what will you do exactly in this stream so create things like smartphones computers TVs and radios okay uh, build and uh, maintain networks for phones internet and other communication technologies so these are the like, things what you're gonna do after you finish this if you have a career in EC department, no, uh, then you'll have this kind of things to be working with. Okay, so this is again not everything, but some of this this will be very attractive in nature, which will you can see that okay, you can actually relate to this. Okay, so create the tiny components these small small circuits okay so uh, those uh, IC circuits to help you build a big big uh, devices that you have okay very complicated device that you have okay like for example you use that in VLC designs right VLSI designs so we have make sure electronics devices work properly basically the maintenance part as well okay you can see that every device that comes comes with the maintenance okay you have to service it you have to check whether the part is working properly or not if not can you repair it if not can we replace it so whatever that, that is there of course you'll not be a mechanic in that regard but uh, let's say develop a you know technology technology for that to help maintain any device properly okay so this is going to be your uh, work after being a engineer in ECE stream okay next is real world impact for ECE so of course you can see smartphones healthcare industry is there the design and functioning of your phones from its screen to its network connections involve ECE healthcare industry devices like heart monitors MRA machines even smart watches that track your health and rely on ECE technology internet and communications so everything from the Wi-Fi in your home to global internet infrastructures all you know basically uh, is built with the help of ECE only okay so again uh, you can see this is used in your uh, you know uh, modern warfare the communication systems is very very important in modern warfare okay and again uh, not only that in space science we also use the communication systems right so it's very very important so this part you see radios I must have uh, you know it's, uh, I think in the previous slide we mentioned radios it's very useful not everywhere you'll have you know that internet connection will not be available everywhere radios waves are used in that point for the communication point of view that is again developed with the help of ECE right let's move on so what is their core subjects to and curriculum if you check 
So you'll have circuit theory. Let me just get all this, then I'll explain it to you. Digital electronics will be there, signals and systems. Again, this is not learnt in first year. First year is a common for everything. But from the second year, third year, and fourth year, you'll have these chapters, uh, these uh, you know topics, this curriculum, uh, these topics in your curriculum. Okay. So again, it might be in the second uh, year or it might be in the third year, but it'll come for all of you. And this is just few of them. You'll have more actually. So you have see, you have a circuit theory, you have digital electronics, you have signals and systems, you have electronic magnetic fields and waves. Okay. You learn. Uh, how to you know work with them uh, you'll also have you know very important labs so this uh, actually this uh, branch of engineering though know, is very interesting you have to do a lot of theory work as well as application based work as well the lot of labs uh, actually students find labs more interesting and a little bit challenging as well so if you're somebody who's choosing this I'm telling you you'll have a lot of fun you know working in the laboratories for ECE department okay so uh, microelectronics is there, uh, then embedded systems, IoT, Internet of Things, okay, most of the things you use, you call this, uh, this word used, smart home. This all is based upon your IoT only, right? So Internet of Things is very, very useful and you know very uh, fun uh, part that you can relate with in the EC. This comes from, again from the EC itself. Again, you have AI in the electronics, we have communication systems and VLSI designs. So these are the major subjects, topics in the part of your curriculum if you choose ECE, okay? So computer architecture is also there, means how to build something, okay, from the very basics, okay? So that is also there, architecture of computers is also there as your core subjects and curriculum. I hope this is clear, just giving you an idea about it. This is not all, you'll have more uh, to this, but just few things that I am wanted to list it over here, show you to all, okay? Next is going to be career opportunities. So for example, you check the industries that you have. So you have your telecommunication industry, companies that provide phone, internet, and cable services, okay? Next is going to be electronics and manufacturing, companies that provides, um, you know, like smartphones, computers, and televisions. Those industry also works and based upon EC only. So you conduct an industry where we work, work with electronic chips, IC uh, circuits, okay? Like that, okay, tiny chips using electronics devices. Automotive industry, again, you have a lot of uh, companies that, uh, everything that you work in the companies, no, which is much more work, works upon electronics item. For example, if you see a car like electric car, okay, there are a lot of components in the electronics uh, components are there. Again, in any other car also, a lot of electronic components are there. Yeah, so there are a lot of, you know, different types of industry which works with EC department to create products, okay, for example, products are uh, cars, trucks, other vehicles are there, televisions, internet cable services, all of this you can see, I've taken some examples over here, there might be, there is more than this, of course, okay, let's check at the, so different, if I talk about job opportunities, okay, so uh, different jobs are there, like core, uh, core jobs in electronics, then you have uh, communication and IT roles, you have software and IT roles, which is most common in Karnataka, okay, we'll see. So VLSI design engineer is one of the core jobs. You have embedded systems developer, again a core job in electronics, PCB design engineer, signal processing engineer, and RF, okay, radio frequency engineer also. One of the core jobs, okay. A few of them I've listed over here that you can can be hired after the end of your whole, whole, whole program of engineering, okay. Some call, some companies might not directly get the freshers. So they might, you know, might have to uh, do some internships, okay, after your, or maybe during your college time, okay, my, uh, maybe after some college time also. But yeah, these are the core pro jobs available for electronics uh, stream. Then you have uh, communication and IT roles, please check. For this year, VLC, okay, for this year, telecom engineering, uh, companies like BSNL, Airtel, Geo, HiU, network engineer, IoT developer, and 5G, 6G on R&D roles. Research and development roles are also there. I'll tell you what, a lot of PSUs like your know, DRD and all, they also hire from this stream. It's one of the very, you know, high uh, in demand stream, okay? So now talking about software and IT roles, okay, we have software developer, data analyst, AI ML engineer, cyber security analyst, and application developer. These also profiles are there, but yes, you have to do some, um, what do you call, you have to, the, the learnings of this might be not exactly what you learned in ECE. You then, again, but you can get these jobs also if you are an ECE engineer, okay? This is also possible, but certain uh, things you have to learn extra apart from the curriculum that you, uh, you that, uh, that you invested in, in the ECE. But yeah, profiles are also open for you. Profiles in software and IT also open for you even if you're an ECE engineer and they actually, you know, highly rewarded. So don't worry. So that is also there. Let's move on. Now placements, if you check, I've taken the example of two colleges, RV, and I've taken example of uh, BMS, please check here. This is again uh, data of 2022, this is data of 2024. If you check your third highest, so second, third highest will always be ECE in this, okay? So this is CSE, ISE, ECE, this is a MBA cur curriculum, so this is not your uh, engineering, okay? But if you check here, third is ECE. Over here, if you check, 
so total number of eligible students were 196 okay so uh, if you check the number of uh, student place was 163 total number of offers was 276 and open uh, dream offers was 148 okay highest package was 56.25 lakhs again this is data from uh, rbc rbc from 2022 okay please check so again so you can find that the one of the highest placement offered stream will be ec okay so of course the highest will be cs and but uh, ec will be very close to that okay and it is uh, as i told you uh, high in demand very versatile uh, different different industry industries are there that are looking for graduates a student from ec stream okay very very high in demand stream okay and useful also now if you check the top recruiters you can see the name itself are very very big names over here siemens is there bajaj electron electricals is there vipro like Lightning, Microtech, Havells, Adani Power, Jio, Airtel, Nokia, Samsung, LG, Sony, Intel, Texas Instruments, and Qualcomm are the top recruiters of EC stream. And see, if you see the PUC sectors, you can find here: I Indian Oil, Bharat Petroleum, BHEL, NTBC, Power Grid, ONGC, and HP. Okay, even DRDO is also there. DRDOs, ISROs, NTBC, BEL, all of these are the top recruiters in the PSU public sec sectors, okay. Uh, okay, so now if you take the top colleges across Karnataka, you have RVC, BMS, PES, MSRIT, SSC College, JSS, University of Viswasaraya College of Engineering, DSC, and GLE TU. So top colleges, if you see, you have RVC, BMS. This is again again across Karnataka, okay. RVC, BMS. Okay, and we have a PS University, MSRIT, SSC College, JSS University of Viswasaraya College of Engineering, DSC, and KLTU. The KCET cutoff. This was again from the data of 2024. Okay, this is the 2024 data. I can mark you. I can mark here for all of you. This is for as per 2024 data. Okay, both of these. This is the cutoff from the last year. Okay, so you can check here for CET in RB was one three five four. For BMS it was six zero one three, PS it was five four five one four eight eight zero for MSRIT seven two six five for SGC College and nine five nine nine for GSS nine nine seven six for University of Viswasaraya College of Engineering one two zero two eight for DSC and one three six seven four for KLE TU. Okay. Clearly, to you. Uh, then, comment. Kya again? Ranks are given over here. One six three six. So, not all the colleges take from the comment as well. But yeah, whatever uh, uh, taking less, RB takes, BMS takes. So, you have one six three six, six eight six seven, five eight nine eight four, MSRIT, and five double zero five for DSC, and seven six nine six five for Clearly, to you. Okay. So these are top colleges across Karnataka where you are offered EC stream, okay, and you are the having the cut off as well. So uh, if you are looking to make a decision, this will I think this video will help you a lot. Please check. So is, is electronics and communication engineering right for you? Do you enjoy math and physics? Okay, first question. Ask yourself this question. Okay, answer is yes, of course. Okay, next is are you curious about how gadgets are gadgets work? This answer for this question is always yes. Okay, next is do you like solving problems and working with technology? That's again a question to be asked to yourself to to choose the stream of. Um, so these are three questions that you should ask yourself if you want to choose EC stream. Next is what higher studies and examination. Again, if you are looking to make you know uh, do some M Tech or some other engineering courses, you want to take after your graduation also. You can do that as well as per this course. Okay. Now, so higher studies and exams. If you check, uh, uh, yes, if you have chosen EC as a stream, if you want to do uh, MS or if you want to do M Tech from different colleges, okay, you can do that as well. So that's again an opportunity for you if you are looking to uh, have a higher education in the same stream. You can do GRE for MS abroad in embedded robotics, telecom, etc. Okay. You can do IES for government jobs in Indian engineering services. IES is a very, very you know qualified and like reputed uh, job section by UPSC where you take a very decent job by government sector. Okay. MBA management rules in technical uh, tech IT sector gate also you can do for M Tech in IITs and NIT also in the IISC. Okay, so there are a lot of opportunities are there if you are also if you're somebody who is looking for the higher studies, even EC will be suitable for you if you have uh, you know app for the departments of electronics. Okay, let's move on. So what to expect? Uh, like the challenges and rewards. So I'll tell you what challenges sections will be the labs. There'll be like there are a lot of. Uh, So that is as a student, no. I tell you what, last will be a little challenging because you have to be very, very, uh, you know, up to the mark. You have to keep uh, working on yourself, keep improving yourself because you can see the rapid technological advancements are there. Okay, so being a graduate of uh, EC department, okay, you should be on your toes to you know um, adapt all the time and always 
looking to improve okay so rapid technological investment complex problem solving okay competitive job market yes there is a competitive because somebody is let's say is having a skill set higher than you will be of course offered first um, before you okay so you have to be up to your toes you have to keep working yourself keep upgrading yourself to survive in this competitive job market of engineering okay rewards will be good earning potential is there okay you can see that uh, name of the company itself is very big okay next is what diverse career paths you can see there are different types of um, companies industries different sectors only are there which can offer you jobs in ece department okay like healthcare industry you know uh, defense industry is there then there is uh, you know uh, like a smartphone industry you know computers industry circuits are also there okay so there are global opportunities. You can, you can work across the world. Okay, you can work in the US, you can work in UK, wherever you are, you want to. There are companies available every places which will be giving you offers if you are uh, having those skill sets with you. So this was all for the session today, where I talked about EC department. Means what you can expect, what are different types of job roles available, what are what are the things you have to study in the stream, why you can choose a stream, okay, what are the demand for the stream, okay, cutoffs, placement, all of that talked about in this particular session, okay. So I hope this video will be useful for you to make a decision, which will give you a bright future, okay, and, and choose the right career path for you. So uh, if you actually make you know say, see that the video is helpful to you, let us know in the comment section that yes sir, uh, this was very good if you want something else from our side let us let us know that as well in the comment section of this particular video for now this is it for the session i'll again come back and give you more information regarding different streams for now this is it uh, please take care of yourself uh, i'll see you again very soon till then take care bye bye